This is the original Sequest captain's chair from Sequest DSV 4600, filmed back in the 1990s. This is the original captain's chair that Roy Scheider and Michael Ironside sat in. Now, originally, this chair cost about upwards of almost twenty-five dollars to $30,000 to produce. Only one chair was ever made. This chair has full hydraulics underneath here. All of this, there's a hydraulic controller, sorry, hydraulic pump somewhere under here. This mechanism would rotate this and grab onto this and pull it forward. Go try pulling it forward. The hydraulics are still engaged, but it would move. Try doing it as best you can. Okay, you can see it moving forward. All right, that's good enough. The chair itself is, is intact pretty much 100% as it came off the show. Here's one of the telltale signs. If you watch the episodes, look for this little crease right here. It stayed throughout the show. It's a metal construction, a frame underneath of it that goes throughout here. These are actuators that really don't really do anything actually. These don't do anything aside from taking the chair apart. And these are actually made to adjust the handles, which were never done. On the original show, they had a, right here, and right here, there was a little footrest that came out. Well, the reason why the footrest is not there anymore is because Roy Scheider actually hit his shin on that thing and it came off after that. It was just for the first episode of Daggers. But this is the original chair. And I'll turn it around for you. You can see the back of it. Nicely constructed. Like I said, back in the day, this cost the studios a lot of money. Everything you see is original to the show. It weighs, let's see, upwards of about 400 pounds. The chair itself is not too heavy. It can be re removed from the base, but the base itself, again, has a hydraulics running through it. it. Does not have the controller, but it does function. If you can find a controller or make one, it's very simple. You can make the chair actually work. And over here is a, what do you want to call it, a polished chair or, or a crew chair. Very basic assembly. Not too much to it. The panels come off at the time to replace them in case they would need to be refurbished. Both chairs are made of fiberglass and metal. Each one has a metal frame inside of it to support the actor sitting in it. But this is the really quintessential chair to have because it is one of one. Like I said, originally I had the, uh, the uh, paperwork on it because I worked on Sequest for two seasons and the paperwork said somewhere around, I think it was $26,000 to construct this. And of course, that's California money. If you haven't done Oregon, Oregon, it might have cost you uh, $10,000. But here it is, the original Sequest chair. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I'd like to answer them. The chair is complete. It has not been touched since 1995 
when the uh, when the show shut down. So, for the interested party, it will need slight restoration, and I mean slight by only this. These areas here, which were silver, need to be painted. That's about it. The chair itself functioned perfectly when I did test it out, but now I have just let it sit. It does need a slight restoration. Uh, everything's there, nothing's broken. The hydraulic fluid is still inside the cylinders. Uh, the silver paint is the only thing that really took a beating right here. That's it. On this side here, the chair itself is immaculate. Nothing's wrong with it whatsoever. And it's uh, got the original, what, what I, I call the beehive grating on it, which uh, Sequest used prominently. You can see, uh, we can't see, there's a hydraulic hose under there. Okay, but the cylinder is right underneath there. Okay, 